god. <laughs>everybody welcome Hi. back to game does play games we're professionals so in dropsy's room at home all of these little photos are people <gasps> we've helped that's cool oh or no these are all people we've <laughs> hugged to be more precise was that supposed to be the statue i think it was okay it was a rather unfortunate first choice <laughs> But yeah, these Boops. are Dropsy, Dropsy, just, <laughs> Dropsy draws That's cool. all the people that he's helped. It's, it's kind of cute. That's awesome. Um, we also forgot to mention, Kujo brought this up in an earlier episode, how he was like, I feel like we're just kind of forgetting to take care of our sick dad, and it's not really okay. Yeah. But actually, the dude does get the some nurse to come over and take care of Papa Dropsy. Yeah. Um, so... I, I forgot to mention that when Kujo brought it up because I forgot about it, but this there was a good reason why we shouldn't be immediately stressed out. Why the quotes? <laughs> I don't know. It felt right at the time, but in retrospect, it was bad. No, it's cool. Now for the rest of the episode, we're just going to be doing a lot of things that blatantly are like, hey, we have a face cam. Like, <laughs> we have a face cam. Yeah. Actually, that might be slightly appropriate, the quotes there. Yeah. I, yeah. I watched a movie one time, and I was eating popcorn, and there That's was a movie, it was an action movie, where a guy got shot in the face. But that's not even an incorrect use of hand gestures, that's just an no, exaggeration. No, I know, that's what I'm just saying, like... Is the dude still now here? for the main end! Okay, he is there. Alright, oh, we got the pup back, let's do this shit. ice cream swirl haircut needs to go away. <laughs> Does kind of bit of an ice cream squirrel uh, or ice cream ice cream? Wow, I cannot talk. Ice cream. I said I called it an ice cream squirrel. <laughs> Which don't get, don't get me wrong, I would eat the fuck out of that <laughs> ice cream squirrel. Oh, I want an ice cream squirrel. The rare ice cream squirrel. Dang man, we're so good. We just did like five tricks in one. You walked to here. Trapsy, and now go, go home, bed. get some sleep, and come and back in the morning. Back. Again? Really? Yeah. We gotta get ready oh, for the big the show. Big opening. This is the actual show. The grand opening. Grand oh, opening. <laughs> One of my favorite side. Oh, he's better. Papa Dropsy. The medicine worked. Oh, yay. My hair now sticks to the sides again. I love you, Dropsy. Oh, yay. See why this. Oh, and he's like, Dropsy, you've grown so old. <laughs> it's been three years since I've been <laughs> able to see you. I'm gonna yell at you. <laughs> no, he was like, I have something to tell you. Come with me to the shed. Oh. Which has been locked since the very beginning. Oh, no. Our dead mom is in there. Decaying. <laughs> it's like, this is your mother. I see her. I talk to her every night. Oh. Our mom and I love you. We went to the doctor, but she saw something fall from the sky. Is this a Clark Kent origin? Yeah, boy. Seriously? Alien baby that looked like a clown inside the little asteroid thing. Huh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, uh, it's, you know, when I first played this, it kind of like caught me off guard. Like, I feel like I should have expected it, right? Because Dropsy's pretty fucking weird. Yeah. Um, and you notice, like, this is even the same insig like face thing that we've oh. been seeing in a lot of the pillars and stuff. Um, so it's really Whoa. not out of place. And, like, there's a lot of alien-ish stuff in this world. So Dropsy being an alien is actually makes perfect sense. Right. Aww. Let's get some sleep, Dropsy. Weirdly enough, I don't feel it's like a cop out or anything like that. I'm I'm actually legitimately like the world was really oh. built for that. Yeah. But it like it explains why he doesn't have any hands. It explains why people don't understand him. Remember that? That dude, the that Rube dude. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, is this gonna get sad? Am I gonna be really sad? I will. Punch Are you gonna you. be really sad? 
I will we'll find out if you're going to be really sad. Yeah, we will find out because maybe by the end of the episode, Chris is going to have a dead arm. Why? Why one dead arm? You haven't had a dead arm before. The dead. Oh no! Is it like the punch? Like, yeah, where you punch right at the nerve, so it like makes your arm go numb. Why would you do that? <laughs> why, why? Just why? 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 I don't play games to be abused, Cujo. <laughs> by you, especially. Hey! I put up with you're this from... big. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, this big. You're this. Dead... Your animals. Where are they? Oh, well, they're in the tent with me. So come on, Drabsy. <laughs> they're in the tent with me. Zip. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> uncool. Oh, his swirl thing is moving when he walks. <laughs> I hate that thing. All right, buddy boy. So this is going to be the finale. Um, side story? What? Buddy boy, really? Buddy boy? Can you not fast travel? Um, maybe I got to talk to Papa. Yo! I love you. I love you, Dropsy. I love you too, Papa. You uh, so well. Yeah. I, oh, we maybe enough. maybe it just jumps there. Is it like a proud walk? Oh, yeah, I guess it's just like a, oh. hey, this is the finale, like, go through town. Oh, no. Oh, You'll see. Oh, You'll no. see. Oh, no. No. No, everything's really happy right now. And I'm going to, I swear, Chris... Everyone else saw this coming. Why didn't you, Cujo? Oh, no. Come on. It's, no, it's going to be great, Cujo. No, it's, it's not. I'm going to cry. It's going to be no, very no, happy. Gonna Everything's going to be great. No, it's not. No, you're you're talking it up now. So what if all of these posters of Dropsy burning everything down are hung all over town? Uh, it's going to be great. It's, no, really, though. like, It's, it's going to be a good show. Mm. It's going to be a really good show. The best show, actually. It's the new carnival, aren't you excited? Mm. I'm excited. It's this, mm. w- this is what Shut we've been up. wanting. This, <laughs> this is what we've been wanting this whole series, right? Ugh. I love carnivals. I hate you. <laughs> That's why they took away fast travel. So, actually, design and story-wise, that was a very smart decision mm-hmm. to remove the fast travel and make sure that, like, and it's so simple, right? It's the same image that's just scattered across town, but it leaves a really huge impact because we know something's not right. And everything else seems pretty good otherwise, right? Um, but it, as soon as we see that, we know we know it's not going to end well. Mm-hmm. Or at least we know bad things are going to happen. I suppose it could still end well. But at least we get to see Dropsy's awesome show. Yeah. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh no. Let the show begin. Where are my animals? Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's like the beginning of an in sync concert. <laughs> Okay. What? Oh my god. Is that the puppy? Yep. Yeah. Uh. Remember all of our great friends? Yeah. That we spent a long time learning to love and caring for and hugging? Mm. Uh. Aww. <laughs> they still remember Dropsy. Of course they love him still, even if they're horrible monsters. What the fuck? The show didn't go the way he wanted it to. Oh, man. The show was supposed to be... Like a freak them, show. It's supposed to be them tearing Dropsy apart, is basically what it's set up to be. It's supposed to be Dropsy's horrible demise. Ugh. Because that's why he's being portrayed as this monster, this villain that mm. burned down the original carnival. And so it was supposed to be his, like, penance, I suppose. Mm. 
and it turned out that they remembered their love for him. Aww. So now that the monsters are enraged, they're going around wreaking havoc, and of course, Dropsy is being pinned for this. Uh, yep. Oop, can't go that way. Man. Just when everything was going swell. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. This is gonna. It's. We totally can fix all of this, right? Oh, those animals. Oh. Yeah, dude's pretty messed up. Yeah. Hiding all this in a Twinkie factory. How clever. Your suspicious voice is, is quite entertaining. Oh, clever. Oh, clever. And I could not see that coming. Goodness. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> What's this? Oh, yeah, that's where the head is. Oh. <gasps> I could put it together. Cujo, I can see what it makes now. Oh, yeah. Ah! Okay. Remember this? I guess we only went here a couple of times, but there's a little trap door that, I, for the entire game, I was like, what is the point of this area? <laughs> and suddenly, we see the point. Yeah. Except for the uh, the hugging gnome. Yeah. Which is very important. Oh yeah, of course. So, now We're everyone's looking for, for Dropsy. So now we gotta, uh... Someone's big wheel got tipped over. Aw, oh, shit. But all the friends we've made, Aww. they won't reveal us. They won't show. Because everyone loves Dropsy now. Except for the people that don't. The, uh, the crazy dude's car oh, went this way. No. Yup, come on. Yup, come on. Yup. Oh, no. This, I really like this scene, too, because the more people you help, the more people you see crowded around mm -hmm. talking to the police and kind of blocking uh, their their uh, sight. They don't yeah. see you. Um, so that actually does make me wonder, if you go through the game without helping anyone, mm. can it backfire? Can you get caught and not have the, uh, you know, good, scenar good scenario? Mm -hmm. It's a distinct possibility, yeah. Yeah, I have, I have no idea. Um... We did help significantly less people than I did it during my playthrough, but... Oh, no. Yep. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's Why do you always pick the games that I'm like, oh, my heart is breaking? It's because I choose the artsy games, man. <sighs> Three-fourths home, damn it. Dude, we, okay, so that game actually still gets views from time to time, and even though that was when we had a really awful recording space, um, come on, don't tell me there's another piece. No, oh, don't do this to me. Yeah, doesn't he have, like, a collar thingy? Oh. Yep. I was so close. Ah. <laughs> And I could still just be doing this wrong. Nope. Oh well. It is what it is. I don't remember if there's anything in here. But yeah, man, I choose the sad games because I choose the artsy games. Then they always tend to go the sad route. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Uh, three fourths home is very. That 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 was very people. To get through. People really liked that though, even though it well, was a really terrible recording. I, I know. Well, they, they, but like sound quality is sound quality. People understood that we were very fledgling at that point. Yeah. Like we're not now. <laughs> well, yeah. It's, we still don't have the perfect setup, but um, that series or that episode, like we have some of the best watch time on that. Like audience yeah. retention is just like awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people have commented on it, saying like, "This was amazing." <laughs> Oh really? Like thank you for thank you for doing this. Oh. It's like yeah, it made me feel good. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, I need to check that out. 
So I do really like aesthetically how much the world changes after all of this. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I think that they did a really, really good job at like really showing you the impact of everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, Cause imagine like, say we didn't have to walk through the world, maybe it just jumped us straight to where we needed to go. Um, mm. Do you feel like it would have been less satisfying? Absolutely. The I, whole point, the whole point of this game, one of the biggest focal points of this game is the setting and the world that you are exploring. Mm -hmm. So if you cut that out, especially at this point where, what the fuck? <laughs> is that a portal? Yeah, boy. Why do you think you really wanted Dropsy? Going to 3D world. Um, but yeah, if you cut that out, especially at a big high tension point like this. You're cutting out one of the biggest um, build-ups. Right. The point of the game is to get you familiar and, and to get you to love this world, and then you see it basically taken away from you. Yeah. What the fuck? Let's give him a hug. He's not doing so good. What the fuck is going on? Just like that? Really? Yep. <sighs> what? Ooh. And you're still alive. Uh, real quick, from a visual standpoint, it was very genius of them to have the blood be like sort of noticeable until that light shines down. Then it was beat red. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Buddy, how about you? You want a hug? I'll give you a hug. It's a puppy. It's this the isn't animals. actually happening, is it? Is is oh thanks, this Papa Dropsy. Let's hug you too. So then the question is, did he that, did he actually go back to his people, no. or was that his death? That's his heaven. Ugh. <laughs> it's sad. It's really yeah, sad. Yeah, like, I do kind of like, I guess, like, I've said like five times in the last <laughs> two seconds. So I, I see the reason you would want to go and help people is so that th that ending stretch really has impact. You see all the people that you've helped standing by you and, and sort of guiding you to where you need to go. But you also do it as a player because you want to. Yeah. The game's kind of built for right. that. Right. Well, I guess my only complaint is that with this ending, we don't really see what happens after that. Like, say he does die. Say this is his heaven. What happens on Earth? What happened? <laughs> it's too tight. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I think the ending does. Moment breaker. I think the ending implies that actually, um, because we see that whatever the the crazy dude was trying to do, the scientist, obviously it failed. We see him wrecked, just like messed up and distraught, and that's why he shoots you. Because he blames it on Dropsy, right? Like, whatever well, he was trying thing... to achieve didn't work. Uh, that's true. So I think what happens is the world kind of 
returns to its normal state of being, but your impact is the happiness you left with everyone yeah, with. That's fair. Um, and that's that's why I'm satisfied with this ending because yeah. the game is only as satisfying as you make it. Yeah. If you play it to its ex- full extent and you make the people in this world happy, it's. It's almost like you can die at the end of the game knowing that people will miss you and that you've left your mark in this world. And that is the inspirational sentence of the day, people. (laughs) Change playing the game to living the life. Ooh. Yeah. Actually, I do really like that. To be like, not even to, to be like, you know, crazy praise about the game, but like, that's an awesome message that I haven't seen really any game yeah. give ever. I've never seen a game give a Hold on. There we go. Camera might have cut out at one point, so if it did, sorry. But might have. Um well it did, yeah. but I don't know at what point it did just because these cameras are weird. But um, I've never legitimately seen a game present a situation that left its mark on players that was... Or, let me rephrase it. I've never seen a game actually say, like, you should be a good human being, mm-hmm. and you should be kind and care about people's happiness without explicitly stating it. Yeah. Like, we play... Also without expecting anything in return. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. Like, all drops he ever wants is a hug from people, and... It still is something that makes the other person happy too. So in the yeah. end, is Dropsy even asking for that much? Um, yeah. So like, I I really like this game because not only is it a feel good game while you're playing it, um, but it it kind of like it makes the players feel like they should be better people. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's really special. Like truthfully, I think that's a a beautiful message that few games have ever even stretched near. I also really like that they were able to convey this message with one of the simplest memes. Like, it wasn't like the game was too crazy, overly complicated, or anything like that. It's like they started with a message and built the game around that. Yeah. Rather than start with like, oh, we're gonna make this character, he's gonna be like, cool focal point of the game, what's kind of his conflicts and stuff like that. Like, they don't... They, they wanted to tell a story and they wanted to send a message to people who play games like this and that is to be kind to people without expecting anything in return um, and they built a game around that and I think that's fantastic um, the art was wonderful in this game oh, it was gorgeous it was so stylized I think having that sort of 80s kind of post-apocalyptic not really well maybe not post apocalyptic like 60s sci fi sort of post apocalyptic yeah like that that sort of the the future that we thought was going to happen back in the day like that sort of setting that that future but like it's not as great as as yeah it's not as fanatical or fantastical it, as yeah. uh, we thought it would be or is um it's like that halfway point between yeah i think um each person that you come across as such a different um, like personality and look to them, which is huge for yeah. games like this. And no, I think the, the that's characters all awesome. had a huge amount of personality for yeah. saying nothing, no d- real dialogue yeah. other than images. Yeah, um, that was the coolest way of communication too. Mm-hmm. I think that was great. Um, but all in all, yeah, it. I'm. <laughs> this is a very well told story with a wonderful message, and I love it. I think that was really good. Um, now I kind of understand. Uh, why you kind of wanted to continue going with like the side questy stuff because it's like yeah you sort of like now I have this weird feeling in my chest where I was like man I kind of want to wonder if I just helped a couple more people like yeah no and that's that's why like I'm probably going to go and play through this for a third time and actually figure out how to help everyone yeah. but for the sake of time like we got to a point with Dropsy where we were like well we should probably end it so it, it doesn't feel redundant because we're obviously running out of game design yeah. things to talk about um, but I wanted to make sure we helped enough people to feel... Mm. Uh, to feel rewarded. To, you know? Yeah, to get to the point where in our point would make sense in the end. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, any other thoughts? Um, Dropsy, well done. Absolutely beautiful job, Jay Tholen. I expect a Dropsy plushie. <laughs> I, will, I will get a Dropsy plushie. Hell yeah. 
Um, like a big one, like a life size one. <laughs> oh my god, that would be awesome. Oh, it should even come I'm sure with like every, a, a, well, a, a like cold and clammy like yeah, like the most realistic <laughs> dropsy plushie. <laughs> I'd still hug him. I would still hug him too. Yeah. Um, but awesome well job, Jay Tholen, and Very I well look forward to the next game you work on because this was impressive. In other words, or in other in. In more words, no. Anyway. (laughs) Stay tuned for more stuff. Uh, Kujo and I will be playing some Hand of Fate next. So stay tuned. (laughs) See you in the air, kids. Bye-bye. I have a five head. A five head? Oh, like a face palm? No. Five fingers for my forehead. I've never heard of that before. Because forehead, four fingers, five head, five fingers... You have, like, a three head. I don't have... You have a three head? I do not. <laughs>